Jurassic World, everyone. James with you. This is one of them uh, great games based on all the movies. And we're going to play this for you. And, uh, of course, Lego. All Lego games are good, I think. I just enjoy playing them. We need to uh, take a break from our regular game playing. And this was like fun, so let's play it. And with that being said, let's go. I think I eat a hot dog. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. Sorry, there's no way to get up to the raptor pen until the new generator gets unpacked and built. <laughs> Whew, how about that temperature, huh? He really sp Oh yeah, this is good coffee. It almost makes up for the danger and humidity. We'll swing it all the way for the you. Danger and humidity. Better danishes. Part of Lego. Okay. I just can't resist collecting studs. <laughs> All right. You have to kickstart it with your stun rod. Well, kickstart it. By the way, whatever you do, don't try licking the ends of these things. I want tasers on full charge. Oh, come on. Who tore up the cage trap? I tell you, that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. Uh. We're going to take our our dude here and we're gonna go turn all the lights on like we're supposed to do Yeah, you run like hell. Now, as you go through this game, you will discover that you need certain characters to do certain things. Pushing team, move in there. Push! Uh. 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 
Step away! Cage ladder's jammed. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Good luck. I can't figure that panel out at all. Joffrey, raise the gate! Come here, man. You gotta go up there. Our friend wants a hot dog. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> Not a good place to take a lot. Velociraptor? No, not Velociraptor. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. Scissors. Oh, come on, who tied this robe? What is that, a brief knot? Dr. Settler and Trent want us to be especially careful when digging up this box. As you guessed by now, we're on free play. <laughs> oh sure. Do as I say, not as I do. That's right. Next time I'm just bringing a sandblaster. But we're also yeah, in the story mode. Hey, oh, I thought I got it the first time. Come on. You believe this? <laughs> Only when you record. Get up there. Usually she can't build anything. I mean, there are only certain characters who can build. And this guy just happens to be one of them. That's why I switched back to him. Let's take out the porta potty. And the cactus. Target. I just gotta keep digging. Oh, come on! It was there? I was so close. Close, but no banana. I want partial credit for that thing. Basically mine. And close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, my friend. 
Come on, get up there. Jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Uh, that might need some assembly. It will disassemble it. Six inch retractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Yeah, thank you. Dr. Grant! Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I hate computers. Feelings mutual. I give up. You give it a try. Watch and learn. It. it was holding a bunch of delicate equipment. Oh, uh, sorry. I found a perfectly preserved Comsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. <laughs> I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Really? Need a hand with something? No. No problem. Yeah, you gotta watch those little deals there, because he'll show up. Especially if you're in the heat of battle or something. Oh, yeah, that's much safer. It was really hard to just balance on it. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. <laughs> Shoot the radar into the ground and the bone bounces the end of the that. That thing looks like a six foot turkey. Or chicken. See what I mean by certain characters can do certain things. Let's go in and talk to Dr. Berniak. Who do you think you are? Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? 
It's right up your alley. So you two, um, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? <laughs> well... Try to. <laughs> You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician, chaotician, actually. We'll be right back.